Okay, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. This is Baruch. He just come out. I've spent two two and a half hours forming him up, forming up his uh, his augment weapon, and he looks fucking awesome. He sounds so fucking cool, and yeah, he's fucking sick. But uh, I'll show you his abilities. I'll show you how they work. So first of all, his passive. We'll do his passive. So his passive for every every ability that he uses besides his ultimate um, they build his restraint or he lower his restraint meter and then once his restraint meter is to a certain point you can use it and it activates his his um, auxiliary weapons what they're called and you can deal a reasonable amount of damage with the with the ultimate it's not not crazy like Mesa but it it does it does some does some good damage it's, um, it's definitely fun to use more than anything um, so yeah each projectile dodged enemy lol disarmed so all these three he builds restraint uh, moving on to his number one ability elude elude um, gives him a a range around him so an angle of mine is 261 degrees um, it basically any projectile anything attacking him in that in that that angle uh, will go right through him and it will build his restraint meter so it's kind of a really good survivability uh, just turning it on the only thing with it is you can't attack so well you can attack it just turns off so if you don't want to get shot stand still or run around and don't attack anything uh, it's pretty standard you just toggle it on toggle it off off it goes it's pretty good uh, moving on to lol lol is okay um, a thing I've picked up on is if you look read the passive each enemy lulled not how potent the lull is or how long they're lulled for each enemy lulled so when you cast it big AOE you saw it you put it on the floor and it puts everyone to sleep and then they they forget that you, they're aggro to you after they come after they're awake which means that short term amnesia uh, basically means that you cast it they go to sleep they wake up when they wake up they're like oh we're just walking around again cool um, so that's what it does it's it's range is okay it's not major um, my duration is really low for, for the fact that each enemy lulled not how potent it is how long they're lulled for uh, builds a restraint meter for the serene storm which is the build I'm going to show you now um, so it's okay it, 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 it's good for instant re like restraint on the meter which is pretty good uh, besides that it's, it's kind of okay for my ability um, it's, not too, it's not too bad it's, yeah moving on Desolate hands. So desolate hands. Um, building with loads and loads of strength in mind, you get 17 charges, which are these blades, sort of like Nova's one, where they just float around you and occasionally fly off and hit an enemy and disarm them. Um, pretty much simple as that. It's it's got radius, explosion range, area damage, damage reduction. This damage reduction, um, I'm pretty sure it's not percentage. I think it's just damage so for 17 times 90 that like damage reduction um, it works exactly the same way as Nova's you just turn it on and off it goes it's kind of you know you just kind of forget about it but it, it, if you if you combine it with elude get double the range so they go away faster you build your restraint meter faster when you build for really high strength which is what is in this build you will see that it does pretty pretty swell damage well not damage but uh, it does pretty pretty swell CC and uh, they fly away really quickly and everyone's got no weapons and stuff and it's he's a really good CC survivability tanky frame and then he can just turn around and do this kind of okay damage and he's fun he's, he's a fun cool new warframe uh, and obviously whenever whenever a warframe comes out it's, it's pretty fucking hype so yeah moving on to his ultimate uh, so his whole kit is built around his ultimate you lower your restraint when you get it to a certain point or when you want to activate it you toggle it and you just fucking shadow punch everything that there is in the game. You just bop them around. They they can't do anything. It's pretty, pretty, pretty strong for CC. It's good CC. It's okay damage at level 100. Um, anything higher, I'm not so sure. But it's, it's, it's definitely fun to use. So I will show you this. Oh, the damage reduction as well. Uh, the damage doesn't seem like much which is what I'm concerned about that's that's the thing so I will show you the build for his augment mods or mods uh, the weapon 
Desert Wind. So this is what I've built for it. Um, right now it says it's bugged in the moment. It's a zero stats. Um, that actually is 22%. For some reason it's just say, showing up saying that it isn't 0.0%, uh, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure why it's doing that. So this is the build. Um, because it's a... I keep saying augment. I know it's a different word. I just can't think of it right now. Uh, because it's an augment weapon, it doesn't do combo. It doesn't have a combo. So you can't build blood brush. You can't build body count. Otherwise, I'd put those instead of these two. Um, or at least, you know, true still and berserk or something. But this is what I built for it. So Augusha, true still for the crit. 80% crit, 3.8 multiply. It's pretty, pretty strong. It's okay crit. And it obviously ties in very nicely with Berserker. Berserker giving you attack speed per crit, which is you're critting all the time, so it's okay. And then Voltaic, Strike and Virulent Scourge. I only went with these because they are so cheap. Uh, they are seven, 7 costs instead of 11 for the 2, and I didn't want to former it again. I didn't feel like it was worth formering again. It literally, it's, it's yeah. Um, Prime Fury obviously ties in very nicely with Berserker. And Rending Strike. Just to buff the stats up a bit, I did have something that I would swap that out with. Um, it was it was primed reach. You could swap that out for prime reach, but again, like it's pretty lackluster damage. So I feel like having a bit bit more damage to screw around with is is quite nice. So the combos the combos are cool on this this weapon. So they are they they what make it fun. So when you slide. Uh, when you slide, you CC everything. Uh, you CC them up into the air, which is cool. And then you can do like a ground attack. And it, it kind of slams them back in. And it's got really cool animations and stuff. And you'll see. You'll see. I'll show you around. Uh, anyway, this is the build for Baruch. I am rolling right now. So starting with strength. Obviously, it's a strength-based build. Because um, the strength ties in on how much damage you do with your ultimate, which is what I'm building for. So it's kind of, yeah, strength. So intense for your blind rage, and then obviously fleet and expertise to counteract the blind rage. Um, if you don't have these, you could swap them out for streamline and just roll with the intensify and auger secrets uh, from Eidolon. So you could just swap that out for, uh, this, this one for streamline and this one for intensify, move that across and auger secrets you could but I've got those, so I'm going to roll with these. Blind Rage, Fleet and Expertise. Fleet and Expertise, minus your ability duration, but again, I'll explain why that's a good thing for your number two, because you can recast it, and it's each enemy lulled, and not how, how long they're lulled for, etc., etc. Prime Flow works really well, I feel like, with Baruch, because you could just leave his, uh, leave his number one on, and it does pretty it, it, it's okay you just you just let it go you let you let him tick away and he, he you'll see it's it's, it's good uh the, aux, you, the auxiliary mod i just do this for survivability because obviously bombards etc etc it's, it's nice to have to get get up quicker stuff like that um stretch for the range um that's more for his number three to like get them away from you quicker to, to, to get them to disarm enemies quicker to get, build that that restraint meter uh, also, a bit more CC on your number two. Redirection of Vitality. You could swap out Redirection for Steel Fiber or Armored Agility or something something similar. Um, I just roll Redirection just because that Shield's quite a nice stat to have, which is, it's okay. It's, it's not too bad. He's quite mobile. I've got Arcane Consequence, which gives me decent mobility. And uh, Adaptation. Adaptation works really, really, really well with his number two and his number four. Um, oh, his number three and number four, sorry. Um, because they give damage reduction and they just, it just, they just work so nicely together, you know? I mean, it's 17 times 90 damage reduction here, but the damage reduction is 40% on his ult when you've got it cast. So it's, it's quite nice, you know, just to have ad adaptation there. It just... Raises your survivability up a bit, which is nice. And obviously, cross projection, which is standard. Um, that's about it. I have this one as well. This is more for CC. I was just testing around, screwing around, and seeing how well his W would do if he was to min-max that instead of the rest of the abilities. Uh, it's number two, sorry. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's I'll, I'll show you. It's, just, it's not very good. So I've simulated some Grenier. 
um, and we will see how well he does. He He's pretty fun. He's fun to use, albeit a little bit lackluster, which is fine. So activate your Q at number one. Activate your three. Just put these to sleep. And you just stand there and let everything shoot you. And I'm not taking any damage except from this cat from behind. Um, and then when you're finally ready, turn your four on. And just start bopping away. Like I said, it's a bit lackluster damage. Even built for it, it's... Anything that's not a bombard, it does very nicely. But it's it's just the just the bombards and stuff that it really struggles with, unfortunately. Even while you're in your, your ultimate, you can recast your W to keep the restraint meter going. And the number two to put everything to sleep. So he, he, he works quite well. You don't really need natural talent for it either, for the cast speed. He, he's got decent cast speeds. But yeah, it's... It's cool, so the sliding animation, you knock them up, the jump one, you slam them down to the floor. It's cool, you know, it's cool, It's he's a cool frame, he, do, he does some decent damage. I mean, these, these, these are level 100 enemies, right, so that's like what, arbitration, rotation, B and C level kind of, kind of enemies. You know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna come across those often, so anything lower, you're probably gonna decimate, no problem. So it's 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 not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, it's it, he's okay. He does the job, you know. It's it's fun. He's a fun, cool Warframe. He also has really cool sounding and looking abilities. So you can't complain, honestly. And I just stand here, activate my Q, and you can see, look look at the look at the the ability when it when he she shoots, goes right through. It's just cool. It's a cool it's a cool little thing. He's cool. Put them to sleep. What you could do is put them to sleep when it triggers. She'll go to sleep. What she should do. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Hush now, child. Will she sleep? There you go. And you go behind. Oh, okay. Well, you can go behind them and you can uh, assassinate them and stuff. It's, it's pretty okay. The only thing I wish they would change would be the damage on the ultimate. Um, it's a bit weak. I feel like it's just a bit weak. I, I wish it was a little bit different because I, you know, these are level 100 enemies, and I can I can barely get through those. But he's cool anyway, so it's it's fine. I forgive you, D. It's okay. Um, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, I hope you found that informative. Uh, maybe you can use that on your own Baruch builds or if you want to test something else out use this as a reference so you don't have to waste your time like I did okay then thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you next time